you aware that Facebook is using your information in order to package it up and sell it to the highest bidder? Well, that's actually how social media works. You're signing up for a free service and as such, these corporations view you as the product and they're able to sell your data to an advertiser who will pay premiums to understand more information about you. So the more information Facebook can gather about you, the more money they're gonna be able to receive from their advertisers. Now, how are they collecting information about you? They're gonna be observing what articles or what posts you like, what expressions you place on a post, and any comments that you might add to any post in Facebook. They can record your location information to find out where you go and what time of day you go there. And also have a look at the type of content that you're uploading, whether it be a selfie, whether it be an article that you're sharing from a news website, any information that you're sharing on Facebook is able to be used by them to understand your buying patterns, to understand a little bit about your psychology. And they do this by feeding it through algorithms who can interpret this information and make assumptions about you. What concerns me now is an article that I read about some patents that Facebook has recently applied for, where one of them is getting access to the front facing camera and recording your micro expressions as you scroll through their timeline. And then to use that information and feed it through algorithms to further understand the way you feel about content that's being presented to you, package it up and sell it to advertisers and who knows who else they would want to give that data to. So in order to mitigate the risk of being manipulated in this way, I think you really need to be aware how Facebook and other social media platforms use your data and exercise caution when interacting with social media. When you are receiving a product for free, you in turn become the product. So it's really important to keep in mind. Now, in order to minimize the chance of Facebook or any app hijacking your camera and recording your facial expressions, you can go into the settings of your phone and turn off camera access. And while you're there, you might wanna also consider turning off microphone access. That will mean that you'll have limited access to certain features within the app. So you can't do a live broadcast you can't record messages through Messenger, etc. If you wanna do that, you can go back into settings and turn them back on. But by default, it might be worth considering having these turned off so Facebook don't immediately get access to be able to record that information. It's not necessarily happening now, but they have applied for a patent and it could be rolled out in any update in the future. And as always, you'll be very unlikely to become aware of any of the changes in their software because they're buried deep beneath the terms and conditions, which are sometimes 20 to 50 pages long. So you'll never get a chance to hear about it or read about it and agree to the terms. You'll just willingly agree to it without even knowing. So you are being monitored and traced and your behavior is being recorded. But if they end up using this technology where they're doing so without you being fully aware and actually recording your facial expressions I think they're taking it one step too far. So in my opinion, I think you should be very concerned about this. And if you wanna have any chance of eliminating this out of the equation, you could look at either deleting the Facebook app from your phone and just consider using it on a desktop machine where it's less likely to track your location information and where you could physically cover up the front facing camera on your computer or you could turn off the camera access and microphone access of Facebook through the settings of your phone. And you might wanna do that on Instagram as well and any other social media app that you might be using, including TikTok. So be aware of what you're doing online and don't give too much away. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>